In this problem, we have a plane. In some crazy world of drawing, that's actually a plane that's making a noise, and at a certain distance away, D1, we have an intensity of sound, I1. Now, we're told that that distance is 92 meters, and that the intensity of the sound is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter. Now, we're given another intensity of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter, and asked what distance away we have to be to hear that. Now, we have to think of the power given off by this is kind of like um, the, the soap, soap bubbles. You have a certain amount of soap to start out with, and as that bubble expands, the amount of soap stays the same, but the amount at any spot is going to get smaller and smaller, so the thickness of that bubble is going to get less and less. Same as the uh, sound coming off this. In close by, you're going to have a lot of sound intensity because you have a lot of power right close. And as you get further away, you have basically a big sphere of sound that's just getting bigger and bigger, and the power is going to keep, or the power is going to stay the same, but the intensity of that sound is going to keep dropping and dropping. Now, power, intensity, and area are related by the formula power equals intensity times area. So the area of the shell times the intensity at any given point on that shell is equal to the power, the total power of that shell. Okay? So we have this increasing bubble. Now, the power at any point is always the same. The power of any shell is always the same. So what we can say is the power at this point and the power at this point are the same. Power 1 equals power 2 which means that intensity 1, area 1, equals the intensity 2, area 2. Okay, now the area of a shell, of a, the area of a sphere, is 4 pi r squared. Four pi r squared. So we're looking for, basically, this is the rate, d1 is the radius out to the this sphere, and D2 is going to be the radius out to the other sphere. So we're going to be looking for R2. So let's plug in for area in this equation. We have I1, A1 is 4 pi R1 squared equals I2, 4 pi R2 squared. Now, if we do a little magic here, we have 4 pi cancelling, and we have we're looking for R2, so we can just basically solve for R2 is I1 R1 squared divided by I2, so I just divide I2 over, and then take the square root of both sides, give me R2 is that. So all we have to do now is plug in our numbers for this. Now we know the intensity of the first one. It's 5.6 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter. Now we have the radius is 92 meters. So we're taking that times 92 meters, and that's squared. I'll divide by the intensity of the second point, which is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter. And that's all under the square root sign. So if we plug the, all that into our calculator, cancelling out our units gives us meters. A radius, R2, is equal to 162.27 meters. If we round that to two significant digits, we get 1.6 times 10 to the 2 meters. Final answer.